Welcome back to Keeper RL. When we left Zacharias, he and his minions were being slaughtered by adamantine golems. Let's pick up the action from where we left off. Okay, we're gonna blow you back. That did not help. Now we're gonna try and hit you with our magic missile. Uh, wait. Okay, we were healed. That's good. Now we're gonna hit you with our magic missile. Did that? We did. We took it out. Okay, so we just need to pussyfoot around a little bit. Avoid these guys. Our archer is shooting the, the leader of the tribe. Okay. We want to shoot this leader. Too far away. Okay. Oh! Oh, we did it! The golem is destroyed. Elven archer is more experienced. I think we conquered their tribe. We took some serious casualties. Oh, what are you? Okay, hold on. We're not done yet. Okay, I'm going to back off. There's another one there. Okay, we need to be careful here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take this ore. Since we're here. Take the ore. Caring too much to pick this up. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna blow this guy back. And see what happens. They do move slowly. How is this guy doing? He's at 100% health, so it looks like our weapons can't damage them. Which is bad, of course. So we've lost all our warriors. But our magic missile's back up. That adamantium golem is not hurt. 85%. Okay. Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh, no, one went down. Did not hurt him. Hmm. And I blew him back, but that doesn't seem to do anything. I mean, it's... I don't expect it to do damage, but... Okay, let's see if our magic missile does something now. Maybe we're just having bad luck? Not hurt. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll blow you back again. He is... We are not damaging him. I don't know how we damaged him before. He's vulnerable to magic. He's slowed and collapsed. But he's not hurt. Blow you back. Oh, okay. The adamantium golem is now blind. Permanently. We have an imp down here. I assume it's coming to get the adamantium. Oh, okay. Alright, we ripped its leg to pieces, so it it's just we have we just haven't been lucky. So let's blow it back again. Look at this imp dancing around. Dancing imp. Oh. Whoa. Okay, we took out that one. Okay, the imp's picking up all that stuff. Oh, there's another one there. Okay. We're gonna start by blowing you back. And then we're gonna back out of here. Let it come to us. Okay, it's not smart enough to come to us, I guess. Hopefully there's only one left. Okay, let's blow you back. No, we can't blow you back. Let's magic missile you. 
Okay, everybody out. Maybe he'll follow us. Oh, does not appear to be following us. Okay, magic missile for you, buddy. And we'll blow you back. They are very slow. Okay, we're gonna back off. We're playing it as safe as we can. What else do we have here? Anything? Sleep potion. Okay, we're gonna pick that up. Oh, I'm carrying too much to pick it up. Hmm. Okay, forget it. Need our archer in here. Okay, it's not hurt. Let's blow him back. Okay, this is too risky. Okay, oh, okay, now he's crawling. We destroyed him. We got him. Well, that was exciting. We can exit control mode. We lost a lot of dudes. So let's see. We did not lose a priest. We have enough imps. Well, we have no warriors. We lost our wizard. This guy wants more luxurious quarters because he's amazing. Okay, I think we can accommodate that. So let's just put this on slow. Let's tell our imps to dig out all this stuff. That was very exciting. I didn't think we were going to win. Okay, our imps can get all of that. Let's go up to our first level. We don't want a normal warrior. I don't care about this priest. We're just going to bide our time now. Uh, you can dismiss that for 200 turns. If we lose to a rat, I think we deserve to lose. And of course, we don't get any experience from that. Or maybe we did. Oh no, I guess we did, but it wasn't enough to level. Oh, and you still need more... Oh, what's it? You can disarm traps? I'll take it. So... Let's make... Let's make this... Your area. So now this is a total luxury of 3.8. And you need 6. No. Oh, need 2.2 more? Okay. Well, we can accommodate that. First of all, we can give you... We can give you a luxurious bed. Put that luxurious bed right in the middle of the room. Luxurious bed. We'll remove this bed. Oops. Remove that, and then we're actually going to give you a bigger bedroom. So we're going to tell our imps to dig this out. Give it nice and large for you. We have 422 adamantium now. But we don't have anybody that can take advantage of our adamantium uh, training dummy. Oh, we can pillage, right. Okay, we got all those ore. Werewolf. Sure, we'll take it. And let's take a look at our archer. So you can see it has unutilized experience 3.59. So that's because they they need a better bedroom. So we'll have that taken care of shortly. And let's just double check that we picked up all the stuff down there. It does not look like we did. What do we have here. Did we lose our shaman. We actually lost our shaman, but I, we, I think we can bide our time a little. We're writing sonnets about slaying the adamantium golems. That's cool. 
Goblin warrior, skeleton, goblin. Okay, but we picked up all their stuff, so we should be okay. Okay, I don't know what's up with these rats. I don't know why our imps are not... Oh, I guess they're busy. Smelly breath. We don't want smelly breath. Here we go. Now we're building the bed. We're digging stuff out. Our prisoner's doing that for us, so that's very exciting. We're going to put down some stone floors. This will be a nice bedroom. We have to rearrange here. Actually, let's get rid of this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do some stone floors here. And I'd like to do it there, but we already have floor there. So what we're going to do is this, and then that, and then floor stone. We'll make the rest of this stone. We're going to sign these quarters. Oh, no, no, they're assigned to you. They're yours. Then what we want is some of these nice, snobby... Oh, yes, candelabrum. Put a nice candelabrum here. What else can we do? How about a fountain? Right in the middle of your room. So let's, let's move this. Orders. Remove construction. This. Instead, we're going to have candelabrum. So let's do that. Candelabrum over here. And here. And here. And then a fountain. Then we're going to change the zone here to make this whole thing your quarters. Okay. And, and it's still assigned to you, but we're going to make sure... And now it's nine point, now it's ten point something. So now our Elven Archer is much happier. Let's take a look. So they have all that experience now sucked in. Experience increases every attribute that can be or has been trained. If the creature has no trainable attributes, then damage and defense will be used by default. For example, Dambug the Goblin has plus one training in archery and a plus three training in melee. Having plus two experience, his damage, defense, and range damage are further increased by plus two. So this thing has almost 19, so it should do much more damage. We don't have another archer to compare it to, though. Okay, we need dudes. <laughs> Let's go down here. Why are you not picking this up? Come on, get all that stuff. Oh that stuff too. And while we're down here, let's just get all of this. Extra damage training potential. Okay, so let's go look at our warrior here. He has a limit of nine, and I think we can get him up there. <laughs> drunk. Okay, you're drunk. That's great. Compromises fighting abilities. Plus five damage when drunk. You know what? Fine. Okay, and now that we have this adamantium dummy, the werewolf can train up to level 12. <laughs> A 
A few moments later. <laughs> you can see this werewolf has gone from 25 damage to 32. That's a pretty substantial upgrade. At this point, while we wait for new recruits, we equip our existing warriors with warhammers so that they can do more damage when we finally do go out and attack. A few moments later, we install adamantine gates, helping us to slow down any raiders that attack us later. But we're building adamantium stuff now, and it's much, much tougher. So if we compare chain armor is plus 5 defense, adamantium armor is 24. So our guys will be in much better shape. So here we are. Uh, it's actually uh, next day in real life. I was recording for a little while and found that my warriors were not... I acquired some warriors, but they were not picking up gear. And I found, if you ever play this game, I found that the problem was when we fought those zombies over here in a prior episode and they took our guys out, we had a corpse sitting here and maybe because it was claimed or not, but it had all this gear and nobody could equip it. Maybe because it's zoned? I don't know, maybe they would have gone to go to try to pick it up. But it was considered something they could equip, but they couldn't get to it. So anyway, I, I went and took an imp and picked it all up. So if you play this game, just be aware of that, that that can bite you in the butt if your warriors seem to have something that they're trying to equip and they never actually equip it. The other thing that I figured out was, and I had thought this was the case, but I somehow confused myself. I disabled or I, I canceled all of our adamantium or adamantine, depending on how you want to pr pronounce it, uh, equipment creation because we don't have an artificer of level 50. I did, while I thought I was recording, acquire an artificer with forge level 50. Uh, he was insane, but he refused to build anything. So that was a problem. And then he was murdered by one of our wizards because he kept fighting with everybody because he was insane. So, okay, here we're gonna try it again. Here we go. So we're gonna pick up this artificer. Oh, exceeds population limit. Okay, so hold on. Let's slow down. We're gonna, we're gonna do this experiment together. We're gonna build another gold statue. So we'll do that. Let's pause. Not that it should matter that much. Okay, gold statue. We're gonna put it, uh, shoot, well, I guess we can put it here. And then we're going to say orders, prioritize task, build this gold statue. So now we'll go on to fast speed. Actually, we can go very fast, it shouldn't matter. This imp will come build it, or one imp will come build it. Okay, good, our prisoner's building it. Okay, so now we're gonna acquire this guy. He's plus 20 on forge, which is what we need, but he's insane. Let me show you how he works. So we're gonna go uh, into here and we'll go Artificer. We have two of them. This is our new one. So he's insane. So insane makes the target hostile to, hostile to every creature, but he does have 50 forge. So hostile to every creature means he will attack our minions, which is not great. But what we're gonna try to do since he has 50 forge is we're gonna try to get him to produce a single adamantine sword. Let's see if he does it before he gets killed by our friends. Let's go here. We're going to locate him. He's outside doing some kind of dance because he's insane, I guess. Okay, he's set up to do crafting, but he's just doing some crazy dance. Okay, so now I'm going to control him and I'm going to send him down to the forge to try to encourage him to create our stuff for us. Nope, but now he's just hit our imp. He's beating up our imps. He's just a bastardo. I don't know if there's a potion that we can make somewhere down the road that will stop him from being insane, but he's gonna get killed. So, whatever. Okay, he took out one of our imps, so we'll just put that imp back. Is he wearing any equipment? No. Good. He's wounded and insane, and somebody is gonna kill him. Oh, he's healed now. I think our priest healed him. <laughs> Even though he was beating up our imps. Okay, well. 
Let's see how this warrior is still working out. So once that warrior is done, we're going to go do some attacking. Did our artificer get killed? Yes, our artificer's gone. <laughs> what a jerk. So we also have this cool Warhammer of Collapse. So victim affected by Collapse, 30% chance. So I think what Collapse does, I'm not certain, is it makes them fall over. Anyway, we're going to wait for this guy to be done. He is... Okay, he's done. So let's slow down to normal or normal speed. We should be good to go. Everybody's equipped. We're going to leave this one sword being waiting to be made till we can get somebody to help us. And now we are going to take on, I think, this unicorn herd. Because if you look there, they have lower... They have in their 30s. Everybody else has like 40 and 50 and stuff. We could go to this cottage. Maybe we'll try that next. And there's a shop here. This guy is 53. It's a Hydra. Presumably they're pretty tough. I've not fought them. Dryads, they're only in the 40s, but Dryads kicked my ass on another character. So we're going to be cautious. These Dark Elves are an ally. So let's go to this unicorn herd. Go. Okay, here we go. Let's just take a look at the map. Okay, there's four question marks. Let's start with the southernmost one. Okay, now we're gonna do it manually. We're gonna wait for everybody to kind of catch up. Aha, there are the unicorns. Okay, let's see how hard they are. Ooh, looks like they can summon stuff. Okay, 35, 36. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, look at that, okay. And they are hostile, right? Yes, they are hostile, and it's a Festa. Okay. Are you guys gonna attack? There we go. Oh, we killed somebody. Okay, taking out their minions is probably not... Not what we care about. Let's take a look at this minion. Oh yeah, that minion can shoot fire if he's a dragon. Oh no, okay, we lost a dude. I couldn't tell who was what. Let's, let's go after... We're going to try to capture all the unicorns. But... Smack you up. Nice. Smack you up. Down. Where's our keeper? Keepers fully healed. That's what we care about. This werewolf is one-hitting these unicorns. Okay. Yeah, one shot him. Yay, we took out the all the unicorns. Okay, so what we can do is we can continue here, but in fact, we're going to disband so we can capture some of the unicorns because otherwise they will die. So let's exit control mode. We captured all of these unicorns. We lost three minions, including a priest. Wow, that's pretty bad. But that's okay. Now we're going to pillage. We should get back... Probably we're going to see some of our weapons here. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take everything. We're going to go... Uh, we're going to go over here, back to our normal place. And then we're just going to recoup. Okay, we're going to take all of these unicorns as prisoners. Oh, we need more cages. No problem. I didn't realize that unicorns were animals. I guess it makes sense. They are animals. So let's build... Uh, that is prison. Cage, right? Beast cage. Okay. And we're actually going to tell our imps to prioritize those things. Here they come. They're building them. Let's go on there. And we did level up, so now we need to pick another skill. Uh, and we lost a priest. I like having two priests, so we're going to wait for a priest. We did not lose a wizard, so we don't need this wizard. If there is such a thing as having too many prisoners. They can become angry and try to overwhelm you. I just took that wizard because it had extra spell damage potential. <laughs> and I'm going to make sure we have enough core and thumbs. Uh, wait, that's over here. Oh, we can do ornate. Um, we have a lot of gold. Let's make 
a bunch of those. Why not? <laughs> We'll let everybody... Okay, look, so Zacharias is level 4 now. And he can get up to level uh, level 12. But I don't know that the bookcase lets us do that. So let's find out what it can do. <laughs> bookcase. Uh, how do we find out? <laughs> Library. Uh, only 7. So how do, can we make... We, we need Master Sorcery to be able to do better. Oh, this goblin warrior requires a more prestigious quarters. That is easy to do. We didn't lose our... Power. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. So we're going to assign these quarters to this guy, Bogak. So I don't know if you can use a torture table to torture beasts. Why don't we, why don't we find out? Prison, torture table. We'll build that. Oh wait, we want a priest, but I want a priest that has better abilities. Okay, so we need to take one of our... Okay, Jonas the Unicorn. Let's drag Jonas over to this torture table. Let's see if that works with animals the way it does with uh, humanoids. Uh, okay, it looks like it's going to work. And, or it, it can work. I don't know if it's going to succeed. But we'll see if this unicorn joins our tribe. He's tied up. See the tied up in the lower right? Or they're tied up. Johannes. So it's ticking down. And when it gets to zero, either the unicorn will die or join our forces. Uh, that unicorn died. Okay, let's take another unicorn and put it here. Yeah, thank you, cow. Okay, we're back on very fast. Okay, here we go. Tied up. Resistance to magic, resistance to ranged, and a steed. Oh, we can ride these? Maybe we don't need them to join. Did they join? I didn't see the message. It looks like no, but we can use them as a steed. So let's let's figure out how to do that. Oh, you oh, you're going to equip this unicorn. Very nice. You don't ride. Artificer doesn't matter. Aha. Okay, you don't have a steed, but you can ride. But maybe we don't have enough unicorns for you? Because everybody else is riding unicorns? Oh, maybe they... Oh, maybe we did convert that unicorn. How many corpses are here? Oh, maybe we did convert that unicorn into a steed. Let's see. Let's find out. Let's find out. So we're going to... We're going to, yeah, these, these guys can ride. They all are riders. All right, let's convert another unicorn. Although they are doing work for us. Okay, we're gonna take Horonico the unicorn. And we're gonna drag Horonico over there. And we'll see if we get another steed. Find out in 90 turns. <laughs> oh, look at that. You've successfully grown your army using enslaved enemies. No, we did not succeed before. We now have this unicorn. Okay. It has a horn. It is melee? That's weird. Advanced healing and... Heal spirit fully. Oh right, because they. Oh wow, this is very exciting. Ooh. Goblin warrior. Do, does our unicorn train? No. So I think we want. I think we want a big party of unicorns. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, did I fail to drag that unicorn over here? Let's drag Hephaesta over here. She was the leader of the unicorns. Wait a minute. A unicorn is a rider? Oh, no, that's a peasant. Okay, let's see what happens. She is a steed, though, as she is. Wait. Why, why are you beating her up? Okay, I don't know what happened there. Because we didn't lose a prisoner. Nor did we gain a unicorn. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. What are you? Resistant to magic priest. Okay, we are full on people. Oh, this unicorn, wait a minute, wants more luxurious personal quarters. Well, okay. Who is this assigned to? Who is this assigned to? Let's give it to this unicorn. Whoops. It's not luxurious enough? Needs another 2.2? You must be a buff unicorn. Wow, look at that. Okay, um, okay, we're going to assign these quarters to our keeper, and we're going to expand these quarters the way we did for our elven archer. Okay, do that please. And we're going to say remove construction to remove this bed. Then we're going to say living luxurious bed. That's going to go right here. Whoops. Oh, we've got to remove construction. This thing. Okay. Uh, oops. Living luxurious bed right there. And then installations. We have plenty of gold, so we're going to say candelabrum, 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 candelabrum. We've already got a gold statue in here, so let's just do our floors. Oh, I actually made this room even bigger than the one for the, the Elvish Archer. And then we're going to go zone, zone, quarters. And we're going to make double sure it's assigned to our unicorn. Extra damage potential. Wait a minute. Okay, we have a problem. 110 turns left. Ooh, this is going to be close. Okay, imps. Installation, another gold statue right here. Orders. Prioritize task. And we're gonna go just to normal speed. Okay, all right. In fact, we're gonna build another gold statue so we have some headroom. I'm a little concerned we're gonna get raided, but whatever. It's just a problem we'll have to deal with. So, we've got this unicorn. It has 15 experience. Doesn't do that much damage. Well, whatever. It is weird. We, why did we fail to torture Hephaesta? No. Okay, here comes Hephaesta again. See what happens. The peasant came over here and, and beat her up before. I don't know what that was about. Yeah, here comes the peasant again. Did she die? Oh, she died. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. We got her. Okay. She wants a place to live. She wants quarters. Okay, let's see if we can make... How far off is she? She needs... Oh, she just needs... Okay, hold on. Okay, that was enough for her. Which is weird. Okay, so here's Horonico, right? Horonico and Hephaesta. 
They have their quarters. They have the minions they've they've summoned. We're going to put them into our group, although maybe we leave them out and let them defend the home base. Oh, maybe the team is too big. Let's, um... Your team. Oh, no. No, I can't put them in a team? Activity. Being sleeping guard zone. Okay. They can guard. They, it seems, cannot actually attack. Oh, that's so interesting. Activity. AI type, avoid melee. But they can guard, and we know they can attack, or their friends can attack. Okay, that's perfect. So let's actually have our warriors not guard. And now our unicorns can be our guards. That's super cool. Okay, is everybody done? I think we're done. Let's make sure everybody is fully equipped. I really want to take out those zombies, but we're not even close to being able to do it yet. And there's a, like a billion of them, and they have that swarmer trait. Okay, so I think next is going to be this cottage. And then maybe we'll go to that shop. Oh, we defeated them already. That's elemental. Oh, our map expanded. This was where the unicorn herd was. Right, okay, we can see this main villain. He's 82. We're going to get a house by that. Uh, yeah, we're going to try this cottage. But first, we want everybody fully equipped. Aha! This drunk guy. We're going to... We're going to take off everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to take control of you. We're going to go up to level one, make it easier for everyone. And we're going to come over here. And we're going to drop everything. Okay, now you're going to level eight. You're going to go back up. Go over here. And you unfortunate soul. It's too bad, you're a rider, but too bad. Yes, confirm. And into the zombies. Nope, we don't care. We killed a rat during that time. Now we have some headroom. <laughs> we are we are evil. We are not the good guys. You know what? While we're doing this, let's dig out some more rooms. Make these five by five. out okay these are all the same for now if we need to make them look nicer later we can do that okay so we're all set we're gonna leave the unicorns here let's go to this cottage and then we'll go to the shop that sounds great I love it so we're gonna take we'll use Nash tank we're gonna go to this cottage should be relatively easy for us Let's take a look. Oh, you know what? We need to go back to where the unicorns were. There were more question marks. I forgot about that. So let's go over here. Looks like some humans. Oh, you know what? We want to capture you. We want to capture you and you. Okay, human tribe is destroyed. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, that's the only question mark here. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to disband. Going to capture them. And then we go back here and we are going to take them prisoner and this cow. 
and then we enslave a cow. That's great. That's all perfect. And then we, we're going to keep the humans as prisoners. I don't think we're going to try to tame the cow either. Let's pillage all this. And then we are going to do the exact same thing we just did. We're going to do Nash Tank. We're going to say Control. And this time we're going to go back to the Unicorn Herd and hit the rest of the question marks. Yes. Yes, indeed. We will wipe out these settlements and hopefully others next episode. Thank you for your support. Likes, comments, suggestions, and criticism are always welcome. I love you very much. Please remember to have your pet spayed or neutered. <laughs>